and welcome uh, today I'm going to explain you how you can set up and install the popular content management system called WordPress initially started as a blog so to download the latest version of WordPress you need to go to wordpress.org site here you can go to, you can download latest version from here okay uh, when you click this it will uh, pop up to download okay this is a 6.4 MB WordPress 4.1 version okay okay so as I already have installed this so I'll go to here mm -mm, sorry uh, I have already downloaded the latest version 4.1 so I'll go to my Work. Sorry. Okay, work. So let's paste here. Okay, inside your W folder, you can paste. Okay, and extract it. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can see the WordPress files. So it's complete now. Okay, let's rename something and you know. mm, my site. Okay. Okay, let's go to localhost my site. Okay. Okay, it will prompt for the installation. You can choose the which language. Okay, continue. I'll go with English. Okay, let's go. So here you can have the value for the database. Okay, to create database, you need to go to localhost slash php my admin. Okay, here inside database, you can create database for my site I'll create a database called my site okay now my site okay by default XAM server comes with root user and passwords to blank okay database host you can leave as localhost this is basically basically prefix to the table so that's it fine okay it's fine everything is okay so you can type the site title my site okay use the name to admin okay you can choose your own password okay you can type your email 2015 dot com. so you can uh, by clicking this you're making your site to be recognized by Google as I'm working on local it doesn't matter so so it is set setting up everything so it's done okay you have login and passwords okay now it's done this is the dashboard and you can see your latest site okay now it's with default WordPress theme 2015 okay this is thank you